going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka e Drive, and you guys episode 20 of the Pokemon Omicron Nuzlocke playthrough. This guy really wants to battle us, so we're just gonna jump right into a battle here. But if you guys are new to this series, or you guys are super duper hyped, or you're a member of the e Drive Army, any of the above Arnie Army, whatever it is, make sure you guys match that like button down below. Uh, the support has dropped off quite a bit on this series, but I hope you guys uh, understand. Like, if you guys are still enjoying it, please, uh, if you could take the moment to just hit the like button for me, and then if you dislike the video later just dislike it later how's that you like it now if you, you watch the video and you hate it then dislike it afterwards I think that's a pretty fair thing let's try to get this to 800 likes guys it really helps on my channel a ton and uh, these videos are a blast to make but they take a long time so I hope you guys are, are cool with that but anyway uh, I wanted to take a moment here to thank you guys uh, which is a bit uh, a bit strange but I wanted to thank you guys seriously for the comments I had on the last video I kind of just complained the whole video and you guys are really cool about it you guys came out you guys supported and you guys showed a lot of a drive army love which is is a really cool feeling this guy is actually scary because he just swords dance and all sorts of stuff and I'm probably gonna lose something which is scary so um, I think I should go into ESPN actually after I just let him swords dance now because I don't know what else I'm gonna do but uh, yeah you guys all left really nice comments so thank you I appreciate the kind words uh, we do have a question of the day today is uh, what did you do or what did you want to do when you were growing up I know the work question is worded weirdly it's because it's early and I just kind of wanted to type the question out but uh, what did you what was your dream job when you were a kid um, so basically I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I wanted to do and stuff but I'm curious what you guys wanted to do so uh, when you were a kid obviously you had these grandiose dreams of wanting to be a firefighter or you know a police officer or whatever it was what was that? What was that? And I can tell you a little bit about kind of what I was thinking. I'm curious to see your response. I remember one of the, the memories I have the most of what I wanted to do when I was a kid was I really wanted to be a veterinarian. I wanted to be someone who worked with animals. I was just like fascinated with animals. And I, I actually, a lot of people joke about me being a bug catcher and, and, you know, the bug maniac of Pokemon or whatever. I legit remember having a butterfly net in my backyard and trying to catch butterflies and stuff. I just was just so into, uh, you know, animals and creatures and I really wanted to have a pet turtle and I had pet frogs at one point I never got the turtle but I had a pet mouse at one point my sister had hamsters I just thought they were so cool I just thought they were so so cool um, so that was always like one of the things in my life that I always really thought I could see myself doing um, and then the next thing so that was like when I was younger so like before the age of 10 and then it kind of changed right so my 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 plans kind of changed so I started playing baseball when I was like nine or ten years old and I love baseball like I loved it it's all I wanted to do all I wanted to do every day was go outside and play catch you know I had a, a pitch back net so it was like this net and you could throw the baseball at it and depending on whether you hit the top screen or the bottom screen the ball would come back to you in the air or on the ground and I would just be out there for hours and hours and hours like all the time just throwing this baseball against this net and practicing practicing my fielding practicing my throwing I wanted to be a pitcher and I just I just loved it how do I get up this way? Uh, I guess it's climbable. So we need a TM for rock climb or whatever. But uh, that's all I wanted to do. I just loved it, man. I just absolutely love playing baseball. This guy's betting me five bucks he's going to beat me. But I just loved it. It was like my favorite thing. I was so hyped on it. And um, let's get oh, rock, rock. Um, I wonder if he has Pursuit. Let's go into Kukia. Kukia. And uh, hopefully he doesn't have Pursuit. Um, so then, I, like I said, I was playing baseball all the time. And I really, really wanted to be a baseball player. Let's see how much this is. Ah, eh, we could live another one. Let's go for that surf. So, basically, uh, all I did was like practice, practice, practice baseball. It turned out that I wasn't going to be a baseball player, you know what I mean? Like, that's cool. It just didn't work out for me. But it was definitely one of the things I wanted to do for a long, long time. Uh, up until the age I was like 15, 16. And then I actually switched over to doing music. This is scary. This, this Nido Queen thing is scary. I'm thinking about guillotining. Yes, we hit it! Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> I can't believe we actually just hit that. Yo, Kukuk! Not bad. Oh, I get poison from the poison point. Of course I do. Of course we do. Juliet's growing levels. Not bad. All right. Tell me your last thing is weak to grass. Needle queen. Okay. I don't know what to do this thing because I'm not going to stay in. Juliet is probably my best play. Actually, ESPN could hit it with a side shot. Let's see how much ESPN takes from whatever Needle queen's going to do. That's why I got thrash. Body slam. Yeah, we ate that up though. What? I'm so used to seeing so Nido Queen's stats aren't the greatest. The reason why it's so good is because of sheer force and competitive. And I showed that Nido Queen is very, very good and competitive. Uh, if you watch my GBA stuff, but yeah, so I wanted to be a baseball player. It didn't work out, but uh, I'm pretty happy where I'm at now. So I'm curious to see what you guys were dreaming of when you were kids. Uh, if you guys don't know, I I do want to have kids of my own one day, not in the near 
future though, give me a few years, like I'm talking like three years from now roughly, yeah I'd say about three years from now, four years from now, um, I definitely want to have kids, so I'm curious what you other kids across the world wanted to be when they were growing up, I'm sure the, uh, the answers might vary based on, you know, what country you're in, things like that, that's why I'm actually excited to hear your responses for this, so have your voice be heard in the comments section below, I'm very curious. So I'm gonna backtrack here momentarily, and the only reason why I'm doing this is because there was those Team Olympus guys chilling, and I wanted to talk to them and see if I was supposed to... They're just not gonna let me through? Okay, so this is another one of those scenarios where they only let me through if Zeus gets defeated, which is what they said at that mansion. If you remember way back, episode like three, after the daycare, we got that mansion where we found uh, Swiper, who unfortunately isn't with us anymore. Yeah, that's that's the story. So I think we know where to go now. I think we're supposed to just go uh, just go back here where we found our arrival. Anytime you run into your rival, that means you're probably going the right way. So I just wanted to clear out the trainers, and I believe this will take us where we need to go. And we are on Route 313, which is a new route for us. That was actually kind of cool. Look how they have these trees here. This is Route 313. I really don't want to face. Oh my God! There's wild Pokemon here just chilling. Whoa. That's a little bit interesting, actually. Okay, so ESPN needs to get the heck out of here. Who do I even go into, though? Prism? And I guess I could... I'm gonna run. I can't escape. That's not good. I gotta catch that Swellow. That was a good thing we switched. Swagger. I gotta catch that Swellow, though. Like, that's what we need to do right now. We need to catch the Swellow. I feel like I need to heal up Prism first, but I think we can take another hit, so, because we're a higher level. I gotta catch this Willow, that's our goal right now. So let's get rid of this Honchkrow. I can't run again. I accidentally tried to run twice, oh well. That'd be a sick addition to our team. I was not expecting Pokemon to just pop up right there. So the reason why I'm not gonna go for Honchkrow is because of the duplicates clause. We're just gonna just say Honchkrow doesn't count, because we already did have Swiper. Oh, I ran! Ah! I hate when I do that! Why? Oh, we could have had Swellow on our team! He drive, you suck at life. I just kept hitting run because I forgot what I was doing. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, well, it looks like there's a lot of wild Pokemon, lots of Swellows. Oh, had to have been a double battle, too. It's the only thing that messed this up. Man. Alright, well, looks like there's some fishermen here. Can I just get out of this route, dude? How far are we from the next route? I don't- I want to get to the town, dude. I feel like all I've been doing is facing trainers. <laughs> uh, let me see how far I am. I, I want to take on the trainers, but like, let me see how far we are from the next town. It looks like we're going to Treater Town, which has the game corner. It's definitely where we're going, because we can't go the other way. So that's definitely where we're headed here. It doesn't look like I'm going this way, because I can't go the cycling road. Yeah, so we're definitely going to Treader Town. I can go to Treader Town first, so I can take on these trainers first. I feel like I should take on the trainers. I can't catch anything, I'll blame you for this. All right, we'll see what he's got. It's probably, I mean, I probably can use the experience. Luminion, all right. I'm running out of Psy Shocks, like we're definitely gonna have to get this team like trained up here a little bit. No confusion, good. I hate Luminion with a passion that burns hotter than a thousand Magmortars. Yeah, that's right, I'm a Pokemon nerd. Alright, what else you got, dude? Fisherman, what else you got? Talk to me, dude. This experience is really good, though. Like, we can get Juliet leveled up, and then the team's all around. Oh my god, I hate you, Gyarados. I hate you with a burning burning passion. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be smart this time. I'm gonna set up a reflect. There you go. Eating that up because I got the reflect up. What you know about me, dude? What you know about me? What you what you know? Uh, what you know about me? What you what you know? Your Gyarados is bad, and I'm gonna beat you. You just got a crit, and that's really lame. All right, let's go to Cookie. Cookie. He of course he crits me with the Ice Fang. All right, this is your chance to cook to uh to hit him with that big, that big big guillotine, dude. Ah. Oh! Two for two in the episode, baby! Can we keep it rolling? Not bad, Cook. Not bad. Look at Cook hitting them guillotines for days. Chopping heads off. Ingrain, no. Ingrain is a Nuzlocke's worst friend. 
Yeah. So ingrain basically gives you health back every turn, but it keeps you from switching out. You never want to have ingrain on your Pokemon on an Nuzlocke. Can I hit three out of three? Nah, we're gonna miss that one. We're gonna miss that one. Nasty plot. Okay. Kake, this is your chance, dude. I need you to hit this, buddy. I need you to hit this. Oh boy. Don't nasty plot again. Headbutt. That doesn't even factor in with nasty plot. Three out of five, I'll take it. That's 60%, baby. That's 60%. Not bad, Cook. Not bad. Cook the one-shot demon. The one-shot beast. One-hit Cook. One-shot Cook. We gotta come up with a cool name for Cook. Because Cook is, like, putting in that work right now. Alright. I've tried to catch a rare Pokemon on this route. See, everyone's been telling me that there's a rare Pokemon on the route, but I haven't found them because I'm playing a Nuzlocke. So I don't, like, look for rare Pokemon. He's got Dodrio. ESPN. We have to switch. He might have Pursuit as well. That's scary. We're gonna go to prison and hope he doesn't have Pursuit. No! 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 Oh my god, dude! Good, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Raptor, dude. This is ridiculous. Of course, you bring me into Juliet. Of course. I can't believe we just lost ESPN to a pursuit from a Dodrio. Close combat? My goodness, leave me alone. These routes are grueling. We gotta just get to the next town, I feel like, at this point. My team is like beaten, beaten to pieces here. Maybe I'll come back and take on whatever trainers are left later after we get some more Pokemon. Like, we have four Pokemon right now. Ridiculous. These are some like beast bird Pokemon. These aren't even like like low tiered bird Pokemon. This is a Staraptor and a Honchbro. Yeah, die. He lived. Well, that's bad. If he dark pulses, then I think we just lost the game. Haze. Yeah, that's great. Let's let's nasty plot and then haze. I hate you, Honchbro. I hate you. Yo, Jackson, honestly, I hate you, Jackson. I hate you so much. Oh, ESPN, ESPN. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. The Pokemon that didn't show up when it followed us. There's supposed to be a secret Pokemon here. This is a good place to train, though. We can come back here and train later. Like, we're gonna have to grind eventually, so... Is this the way out of here? I can't go up? What the heck, man? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, maybe like some legendary Pokemon shows up there? I have no idea. It looks like that's like a platform for some sort of rare Pokemon to pop up. This is annoying. Oh, I see what it is. It's a totally different... It's it's under us. Whoa! Gliscor! That's pretty sweet, actually. I can't get away because it's a glide score for some reason. Can I get away this time? That'd be great. Thank you. That was pretty cool. I don't I doubt that's the rare Pokemon that they were talking about. There's gotta be a rare Pokemon around here. Around these parts. Alright, now I see why, because that bridge is under us. So this is like some giant stupid maze that we have to go around. So maybe I'm not skipping trainers. What's a kid like you doing on a dangerous bridge? Alright. See what you got, dude. Yeah, this is a pretty poorly made bridge. Kecleon. Ugh. I don't want to take on a Kecleon right now. So we're going to turn him into a bug type from the bug bite, and then we're going to rock slide. He's going to substitute, so never mind. 
I'll probably just bug bite again then. Shadow sneak. Definitely gonna break the sub. And then now I can just hit him with another bug bite and we're good. Kecleon is a cool Pokemon. If it has protein. <laughs> Golem. Ooh. It's a little scary. What do I do to Golem? I guess I go to Juliet and try to Giga Drain. Smackdown. Ooh, that did a lot more than I wanted it to. I'll get some health back with Giga Drain, so it should be fine, but... Yikes. Of course, he's got Sturdy. Do not self-destruct. Do not. That might make it slower, so I have to switch. I think I have to switch. I gotta go to Prism here. I can't stay in because I might be slower now. There, oh my god, it's a good thing I switched. <sighs> that was scary. That was so scary. Raichu. I feel like I could take in a Raichu. We have a little bit of an electric weakness, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, I gotta heal up here. And we gotta hope he doesn't do that again. At least in the immediate future. Thunder Shock. I think I can take a Thunderbolt as well now. Oh, well, I guess we don't have to find out. Don't miss this rock side, please. This is like giving me heart heart palpitations. Stop it. Prism, if you die, it's your own it's your own darn fault, buddy. Alright, get out of my house, Fletcher. Sick of seeing your face. Prism growing levels wants to learn X Scissor. That's better than Bug Bite. I'll take it. Yo, just wait till Prism learns Shell Smash and it's gonna be game, dude. Imagine this thing getting Shell Smash right now. Shell Smashing up and then just destroying souls. It'll be great. I don't think he can get crit either. I think he has Shell Armor. I don't think he has Sturdy. I think he has Shell Armor, which is nice. So at least he can't be crit. Okay. Let's heal up a little bit because the team is, uh, is hurting right now. Especially ESPN, who's not even, like, alive anymore. This looks like there's like some puzzle here. Maybe this is the rare Pokemon. Ooh, a Mandibuzz! I don't think that's the rare Pokemon, but it's still pretty cool. See how much an X it does to it. Enough that I'm gonna get the experience from it. So Mandibuzz, Glasgow, Honchkrow, lots of cool Pokemon. It's really cool that they made it like a treetop type of feel. So that there's just like all these flying Pokemon. Like this game, I feel like, like my, my fiance was looking at this game and she was like, you know, she was like, how do you play this game? The graphics aren't very good. And I was like, well, you gotta understand, Pokemon isn't about graphics, you know, only, like, a lot of people like to watch, like, Pokemon for the storyline, for the Pokemon themselves. Like, sometimes the graphics aren't that huge of a deal. Um, but, uh, this game would look amazing if it was better done in graphics. I think I'm just gonna x and see how much it does. The problem is I'm out of rock slides, and, like, these per Pokemon are gonna be tough for me to take down without them. Like, really tough. I'm gonna see if I have anything that can replenish my rock slides. Probably nothing. I got a max ether. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I gotta do it because I have nothing to hit these things with. And of course, I'm gonna miss every one of them now because he just went for double team. We could have had a Swellow on our team, too. I choked that so bad. I need these rock slides, though. This is, like, the only way I'm getting through this, like, jungle forest thing. Luckily for us, Prism is a beast. Seriously, I never would have thought this thing would be a beast, but... Petal Dance. Ah, that's tough. That's tough. I'm gonna pass on Petal Dance just because I like Giga Drain. I like the recovery part of Giga Drain. Especially on a defensive Pokemon. Then comes Pidgeot. I don't think this is gonna be Mega Pidgeot. Twister. I don't know if this will kill. Oh, so close. 
Why do I have speed? Oh, you probably whirlwinded. Probably went for the whirlwind. Yeah, my lasagna crab is not gonna be outspeeding much. What else you got? Haunch crow. So I wonder if Pidgeot is in this area too, because we did see pretty much all these same Pokemon. And we're hitting rock slides for days right now, not bad. This might, yeah. Not bad, Prism. That's what I'm talking about, dude. All right, so we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this team now, because we only have four Pokemon. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there's no way we're making it through this game with four Pokemon. There's that Gliscor again. I hope we can run, because I really don't want to mess around with these two at the same time. We can't. I went for Wish by accident. No, don't hurt yourself in confusion. Don't hurt yourself in confusion! Or just hurt yourself in confusion. So do I have two chances to run, basically? Let's find out. I think I do. I mean, I could just rock slide, but we're gonna run. Okay, good. Oh my god, so many encounters. There's the Mandibuzz again. So we know Mandibuzz isn't that rare on this on this route. It's not that rare, so of course I can't get away. Why? Why must you do this to me, Mandibuzz? I just wanna run. I just wanna run away. Come on, dude. Don't be a jerk about it. I just wanna run away. I just wanna run, hide it away. Because they're chasing me down. There we go. Alright. Let's use another potion really quick, and then hopefully we're done with this like this walkway because I just want to get to the next town like I, I Gotta say like this game has been so much fun But this is a really really long amount of time from town to town and that's I always think that's boring like and especially for Nuzlocking It's like that's not good because like the towns are where stuff happens typically, you know this guy We're gonna battle this guy. There's a rare bird Pokemon on this bridge. Guess what? I caught it I'll see what this rare bird Pokemon is because he seems to know what it is I feel like the last guy said something similar. Skarmory, there it is, okay. So I can see this being the rare bird Pokemon. Now do I have anything that can actually kill a Skarmory on my team? Not really, especially if it has Roost, we are in a lot of trouble. So let's try, let's see how much the Steel Wing does to me. Way more than I wanted it to. We're gonna Rock Slide now. That did a little bit. I can hit him with another Rock Slide here, and hopefully he doesn't Steel Wing. He's gonna Steel Wing and of course not miss. We almost die there. Another Rock Slide, that's fine. I feel like I just need to heal Prism up because who else can come in on this guy? Cook Cook can actually. Cook can come in. Let's go Cook. I got Surf. Surf will hit this thing from the special side. There's the Steel Wing again. That should do nothing. Good. Alright, Cook. Hit him with that Surf, baby. Be a 2 to KO from here. Ooh. Not bad, Cook. Not bad. Alright, so he's going to speed his... Raise his speed up. I think we're good. So this is the rare Pokemon here. Imagine if we found a Skarmory. Dude, that would have been amazing to put on our team. Like, it would have been absolutely amazing. Our luck is just not there. Just not there right now. We need our luck to turn around, ladies and gentlemen. We need some serious some serious luck reevaluation for the next next couple episodes here. So we were able to beat him. It looks like they do reveal what the rare Pokemon is, which is cool. And hopefully we're done. Okay, there's another trainer. My father told me I was useless until I could bring home a Skarmory. I'll show him. Okay, so that was like the last route, too. I don't remember what the Pokemon was in the last route that they were all talking about, but... So just got a Duosion. Prism is gonna need to get healed up here. Because I can kill Duosion, but not at this health. It's full restore. Pain Split? Aw, oh, I should have not healed. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, I'm not that big of a risk taker. Goodbye, Duosion. Goodbye. Prism growing levels, Juliet growing. Just have all psychic types, please hit no. Perfect. That's great. Just keep doing this. Synchronoise. Synchronoise is a really unique ability. I believe if the Pokemon that you're facing is the same type as you, it hits them with like 100 base power. Um, so, a psychic type move. So, if you're attacking another psychic type, it hits it pretty hard. I know Jolteon gets it. I remember Crimson Seabad put Synchronoise on his Jolteon at one point during the GBA to hit a Manetric, I think. Because it was the best thing he had to hit Manetric. And there's the Alakazam. Scary. Look how much this does. Oh my god. Goodbye. 
I don't know why this lady wants to get a Skarmory. She's got all her Psyche types. The Skarmory's gonna like mess with her vibes. All right, thank you, lady. Can I go to the next town now, please? I think we're almost there. Yeah, oh, is a cave? Okay, so here we are guys route 314. This is a new route for us, which means we can catch a new Pokemon, which is gonna be good Let's uh, let's heal up the team here before we do this and hopefully we can catch something in here I failed my last like couple captures, so we're gonna try to not have that happen again, and let's do this man Let's let's get something good here Well nothing yet Are there no Pokemon in here? Alright, here's our encounter for 314, and it is gonna be a fan piece. So that is duplicates claws. So we actually cannot catch the fan piece. We're gonna catch the next Pokemon we encounter. So that was anticlimactic. So hopefully the next Pokemon will be more awesome than Fan Pee. So here's the exit. So we're gonna see. We're just gonna Alright, here it is. Here it is. It is gonna be another fan piece. So we're gonna find out what it's gonna be aside from Fan Pee. We already had Fan Pee and it it didn't make it. Come on. There it is. It is gonna be Drillbur! Ha! <laughs> there we go. That is what I'm talking about. Finally, something adds to the team that's not terrible. Oh my god, I thought I just killed it too. Alright, Drillbur is awesome, dude. Excadrill, amazing type, gives us that electric immunity. That's perfect. Let's catch this bad boy. I'm gonna be very I'm gonna be a happy individual when we catch this thing. Alright, let's use the heavy ball, cause. Nah, you know what? Let's just use the Nuzlocke ball. Alright, stay in the ball, Drillbur. <sighs> that is awesome. That is awesome. It makes its swift way through the soil by putting both claws together and rotating at high speed. So we're gonna name this Guacamole. Guacamole! Alright, Guac, welcome to the team. You actually probably just go straight to our team, right? Yeah, Guacamole's just straight to the squadron right here. Serious nature. Looks like he's got pretty bad stat. Oh my god, that attack stat though. But he does have Dig, Home Claws, Slash Rock Slide. That's actually really cool. So I'm gonna actually take the experience share from Juliet. We're gonna give it to Guacamole for now. And it actually has Dig too, which is kind of cool. So hopefully that'll help us out. Hopefully Guacamole will uh, will be able to catch up in levels. And we are in the new town, which looks pretty sweet, actually. Let's go straight to the Pokemon Center and heal up. And I think I'm going to leave the squad at uh, at what it is here. A Cricketune! Adri, I just got a donation! Avery is my hero. He's, my best type bug He's best Bug-type trainer around. Ah, Bug-type gym leader coming up. Avery's Pokemon have a serious type weakness. They're Bug after all. I wouldn't estimate him if I were you, though. He has a little surprise up his sleeve that made, him lose made me lose against him. Uh, so if I got into a battle with Pokemon and hurt myself, would Nurse Joyce heal Nurse Joy heal me? Alright guys, looks like we are about to take on the bug type gym leader in the next episode, which is uh, a little scary actually. So let's deposit ESPN into our, our casualty box. And I don't know if there's anyone else on the team that I really want to add right now. I'm just like not passionate about anyone else. So I think we're gonna leave it as is. But uh, let me heal up as well. This is gonna be a tough match, dude. Gym leader, bug type. Luckily for us, we have two Pokemon that do carry rock type moves now, especially now that we have Guacamole. And we also have the uh, the poison grass type Juliet, which is neutral. Uh, Cook can hang in there, and we got ancient power on uh, Lucky. So I don't think the bug type gym leader will be the worst thing in the world. I'm just gonna grab a couple ultra balls here, just to make sure I have some. We're gonna grab some potions. Just to stock up, because I'm running a little low here, if you guys can understand. Alright, let's 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 take a quick quick meander around the town here, see what we got. Looks like there's lots to do in this town, guys. There's a lot to do here, it looks like. I'm looking for wild Pokemon. There's the gym, so we know we're headed back over here at some point. This is like built on a hill in like the middle of nowhere. I'm hoping some dude just gives me a new Pokemon. I don't know what the cards mean. I don't know what that even means. Hey, are you a triplet triad player? No. You should try it. It's pretty fun. You can get a deck of the game corner. Ah, okay. So the game corner is actually here. When you've lived as long as I have, you'll appreciate the value of a good rest. Triator Town. So it's kind of like Trader Town, but... 
Uh, Team Olympus is coming, so we better be careful from now on. As if you shouldn't have been careful before, lady. What's over here? Okay, let's check out. Uh, let's check out this house, and then maybe the house above it. Let's see what we got. This guy's like a captain. You, yes, yeah. How well do you know the regions of the world? Uh, very well. Oh, we have a challenger. What do you say? I ask you a few questions about them, then. Maybe I'll give you a prize if you can get them correct. Okay. First question: Which region does Pallet Town reside? Uh, Kanto. Correct, Amundo. In which region did Team Plasma try to free all living Pokemon? Uh, Team Plasma. So. I always forget which one Team Plasma was. I think it's so it's either Sinnoh or you know uh, Unova. Sinnoh, Team Plasma. Team Plasma was N, so I think that was the Unova region, black and white. Okay, good. In which region is Turnback Cave? Oh, how am I gonna get this? Uh, Turnback Cave. I'm gonna say it's gonna be Sinnoh. Yes. Okay. In which region can you become an actor and film movies? That is the. An actor in film movies. Oh, that's the Unova region. Two more questions. This is where it gets tough. Which region has corrupted Pokemon? Oh, I don't know these. I'm gonna say the Or region. Which region does not have a league, but instead has a single pre-gym? Okay, so it's it's I don't know. I never played the fan-made games. So I'm gonna say the Holon region. Oh wait, can I just try again? Can I just try one more time? I'll try one more time. Maybe I can get that last one right. <laughs> oh, I answered it wrong. Oh, I guess he doesn't. Whatever. I don't care. If you guys want me to try again, I, I the last question I, I just butchered. I didn't know the last one. I, I had to guess in the last couple because I had never heard of those before. They're like fan-made games that I never played. I'm the move relearner. I study Pokemon psychology for years and I can help them relearn a move. That's pretty cool. You like hard scales. If you bring me a hard scale, I'll reteach a move to one of your Pokemon. Not bad, not bad. This guy's a generous individual. See, what does this guy do with these hard skills, though? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I want to know. You know, he he does all this awesome move relearning, but what does he, like, does he sell them? Does he, I don't know. This lady just moved out of the way so I could use her sink. A book in the sink, an ancient tomb! Hey! How about that? How about that? Grandpa's house is so boring. They won't even let me have a triple deck thing. Uh, I'm here on summer break in my grandpa's house. That's so boring. He's pretty old, but he's really cool. Oh, you look like White the Steel, the young trainer. Would you like to trade Pokemon? I've been aching to give this spinny away. No, I don't want your spinna, dude. Yeah, I don't want to waste my time with a weak Pokemon like a spinda, dude. Get out of my house. All right, let's check out this house really quick. And then I think uh, then the gym leader is next, man. This is a real Snorlax. It is, and there's a Munchlax. 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 My husband is a great chef. I'm a great chef. My favorite Pokemon are Snorlax and Munchlax. I love Pokemon. It's just the coolest thing. All right, cool. So, uh, I think... What does this guy have to say? So, they got a Bug Gym Leader, which is my favorite type, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm very excited to take on the Bug Type Gym Leader in the next episode. But we're going to wrap things up right here, right now. I got my homie Prism chilling behind me. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please, as always, show your love and on that like button down below. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive, and I'm going to get the heck out of here. Peace.